Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Katherine Westbrooks. This channel is all about how to make money from home and be your own boss. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create pattern coloring books to sell on Amazon through Amazon KDP. I'll be using a new tool that I'm super excited to share with you guys. The first step when creating coloring books is to see if there's demand. The easiest way to find this information is to go to Amazon directly and look at the best sellers. So you wanna to go to best sellers at the top, go over here to books, crafts, hobbies, and home, and then I'm gonna click on coloring books for grownups. So we see right away that the number one best seller in coloring books for grownups is a mindful pattern coloring book. This one pattern coloring book is bringing in over $11,000 in royalties per month. To find out that estimation of royalties, I took the BSR, which is 188. I went to a free book sales calculator like BookBeam. I entered the bestsellers rank and did amazon.com and pressed estimate. I took the higher end of this estimation and I multiplied that by the royalty amount. To find the royalty amount, you just Google KDP royalty calculator. I just put in some information about the book and I press submit. And I can see right here that the estimated royalty is 75 cents per sale of that that book. So if I multiply the estimated sales per month times the royalty amount, which is 75 cents, then I see that this book is bringing in over $11,000 in royalties per month. Even if they are running ads to this book, this is still a substantial profit each month. So because we see that there's demand for pattern coloring books, we're going to go ahead and make a pattern coloring book in this tutorial. To start our process, we're going to first find our keywords for our title, subtitle, and seven backend keywords. I primarily use two research tools. I use BookBolt and also Titans Pro. Finding the right keywords for your title, subtitle and seven back end keywords is by far the most important step that you can do in this process because you can have the best book in the world but if you don't have the right keywords no one's going to find your book on Amazon and it will not sell. I don't ever rely on just one tool to give me keyword information instead I use several tools for my keyword research. I find that using multiple keyword tools helps to give me a better overall picture of what keywords are going to do well and help my book get found by customers. If you don't already have a BookBolt account then you can start a free three-day trial with my link below. After your three-day trial ends they have two subscription plans. One is the newbie plan and one is the pro plan. They have monthly and yearly options available. I have a 20% off coupon code for you down below in the description box if you want to try out BookBolt. For research purposes, the newbie plan will be sufficient. If you want to upgrade to the pro plan, then you will have access to the puzzle creation software. But to start with, the newbie plan should be sufficient for just research. And with my coupon code, the newbie plan will only be $8 per month. First, we're going to start on the cloud over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to click on coloring book and I'm going to type in pattern coloring book because I know that that's what I want to create and press search. BookBolt gives you a lot of really good information like when the book was published, estimated monthly sales, if the book is independently published, meaning that it's published through Amazon KDP. You can also go up to the top and click on this arrow. It's going to give you the average price, average BSR for the last 30 days, and also keywords. These keywords are super valuable whenever you're filling in your seven back-end keyword slots. What I do during this process is I scroll through all of the best-selling pattern books, and I take note of keywords in their title. Right here, I see mindful patterns, amazing patterns, stress relief patterns, minimalist, incredible patterns, mindfulness, relaxation, and I put all of these words into a spreadsheet. Once I've gone through the first page, I'll go over here to the left-hand side again and go to keywords and press search. Again, because I already know that I'm going to create a pattern coloring book, I'm going to type in pattern coloring book and press search. On this page, I'll do the same thing. I'll go through and I'll take note of any keywords I want to explore further and I'll add them into my spreadsheet. Also, be sure to take note on the side right here where it says most frequent keywords. I found several really good keywords from this section over here on the right-hand side. So I copy and paste any relevant keywords that I want to explore further. Another feature of BookBull is that you can use their KDP Spy plugin. Up here on the right-hand side of my computer, if I click click my extensions. I'm going to go to KDP Spy by BookBolt. I already searched for pattern coloring books for adults, so I'm going to analyze those results. I click on KDP Spy by BookBolt. I click on keywords and press search. And here's another really great list of keywords along with the estimated Amazon search volume. So I also scroll through these and add any more keywords to my spreadsheet. After I've done that, now it's time to start using my second keyword research tool, which is Titans Pro. There is a free version of this, but I do have the paid version. I type in a very broad keyword, such as pattern coloring books for adults. I click on the purple Titans Pro icon and now I can see more keywords along with the demand, opportunity, search volume, and search results. You can just right click on any of these keywords and open link in a new tab. 
Now I took this keyword mindful pattern coloring book for my spreadsheet. Ideally you would like the demand and the opportunity to both be in green because that means that there's high search volume and low competition. I'm going to click right here on mindful patterns adult coloring book for women because the search volume is 1500 and the search results are only 1700. So the demand is four and the opportunity is seven. So I'm going to click it's gonna show me all the books that are selling really well. And then here is the bestseller. So you don't always have to put the main keyword as your title. This book's title is Mindful Patterns Coloring Book for Adults. And you can put this Mindful Patterns Adult Coloring Book for Women in your backend keywords. If I click on the C Niche Score Analysis, I see that it's 50. 50 or higher is a really great score. Now, if you don't already have Titans Pro, this just launched a few weeks ago. Right now, this tool is only $97 for lifetime access. If you would like to check out this tool, I do have a link down below. So if you really want to pursue Amazon KDP and build passive income, then this tool is a great investment. So now that we've looked at how to find profitable keywords for this type of pattern coloring book, next we're going to actually create the interior coloring pages for this book. And to do that, we're going to be using a new tool called Repper. This is really an amazing tool to create unique patterns that you can use in your coloring books. And you can actually try Repper for free for 14 days. No credit card required. After your free 14 day trial, they do have a monthly and a yearly subscription plan. I do have a 20% off code down below if you do want to try out the monthly or the yearly plan after your free trial. If I scroll down to frequently asked questions, the first one is, do I own the rights to the patterns I make in Repper? Yes, 100%. You can use the patterns any way you wish without restriction. You maintain all rights even if you decide to cancel your plan at some point. So that's a great peace of mind. So you want to click on start app and then here's my dashboard. So you can either click on a current project or start new collection. I'm gonna click into my pattern coloring book project. So here's what Repper looks like. I just uploaded this image, which I'll show you how to get these images in a second. And you can scroll over and create so many different really cool patterns. There's different effects that you can choose from. I like to use the base tilings or the advanced tilings. I found that the seamed tiling effects aren't really great for coloring books. So you can choose any of these tiling effects. You can adjust the size of the area that you want to scroll over and you just scroll and it creates so many different patterns. Such an amazing tool. I'm going to go to facade and see how cool that is. So really amazing and you can make so many different variations of patterns. You can also adjust the sizing up here and you can zoom out or you can make it more large print and zoom in. I like to keep it about in the middle and this is about the size of a coloring page horizontally. So I just like to line it up on both sides where both sides look even and once you like your design then you can press export and you can save it to your computer. Now for the images I got mine from Creative Fabrica. You can do the image search. I typed in pattern and you can use these patterns that are on Repper but most of them are in color or the ones that are black and white kind of have grayscale. So you can look through these and see what you can find, but I just upload mine from Creative Fabrica. So on Creative Fabrica, I just searched in geometric. I made sure to click on the print on demand license down at the bottom. And I looked for bundles that were black and white that I could download. I downloaded this one right here, which is Geometric Pattern Seamless. If you don't already have a Creative Fabrica subscription, I do have a link down below for you, and you can get your first 10 product downloads for free. After those first 10 downloads, if you would like an account, right now they're having an amazing special where it's only $4.99 per month. Whenever I first got Creative Fabrica in 2022, I was paying $20 a month. So this is a really great discount if you want to sign up. So I downloaded this Geometric Pattern Bundle, and I uploaded the JPEG version into Repper. If you can upload a JPEG, image that usually works best because the images are smaller. If the bundle that you download only has PNG images, they might be too big to upload into Repper. So if that happens, you can always just right click. I have a Mac, so I go down to quick actions and go to convert image and you can actually convert that PNG into a JPEG image. Once you convert it into a JPEG, then you should be able to upload it into Repper without any issues. So I'm going to change images and show you another example. Here's another graphic I got from Creative Fabrica in that bundle. I'm going to change the tiling to cross facade and this is a really cool pattern right here. Again, you can zoom in and out and you can move this around and get so many different cool patterns. Look how cool that one looks. So this is an amazing tool to create unlimited amount of pattern coloring book designs. So you basically just repeat this process until you have enough images for your coloring book. I usually have 50 images for my coloring books, which you could create in no time. Again, I have a link for Repper down below along with a coupon code for you. The first 14 days are completely free. After you have all of your images downloaded from Repper into a file on your computer, 
you want to upscale all of those images. That way they're not blurry whenever you upload them onto Amazon KDP. I use bigjpg.com. I paid $12 for six months and I get 1,000 upscales per month, which is more than enough for me and my business. So you can upload all of your images and upscale them. Once they're upscaled, then you can drag and drop them into your coloring book template on Canva. Mine is just eight and a half by 11. So when you first drag and drop your image, it's gonna be horizontal. So all you do is you just flip it to where it's 90 degrees. Now I never do bleed on my coloring books. Bleed is if I would have the image go all the way to the edge. I don't do that. I prefer my coloring books to have a rectangle border. The easiest way to get the border template is to use BookBolt. You go to create, BookBolt Studio, and go up here to new project. I'm gonna do interior, project name is border, eight and a half by 11, black and white interior, no bleed, and then 24 pages is fine. And press create project. Now, do you see how BookBolt has these green lines right here? Those are the KDP margins. So I just go over here to shapes, do rectangle. I make this rectangle bigger to fill the inside of those margins. Then I go over here and I change the fill color to transparent. Go over here to border and I change the stroke to four and make it black. So now I have a border right here where I can see where the margins are. I go up here to file and export to PNG. So I just want this one page, export. Now I can drag and drop that PNG into Canva. I can move it over my image, go to position, send to back. Now this border is a little bit too thin for what I like. Plus it's a white background and not transparent. So I'm gonna go over here to elements, go to rectangle, and I'm going to fill in inside this border just like I did on BookBolt. I'm gonna go to stroke and make this a five border weight. For color, I'm gonna do transparent. Now that my new border is right where the book bolt border is, I'm gonna delete the book bolt border, and now I only have my border that I created. So you can just duplicate this and delete your image, and you can use this template for all of your coloring pages. So from here, you just line up your image, make sure it's inside the border. Once it's lined up, then you go to position, and you send your image to the back of the border. So the border is on top. And now you repeat that for all of your upscaled coloring page images. Make sure to leave a blank page behind each coloring page. That way when your customer is coloring, it doesn't bleed through onto the next image. If you are getting value from this video so far, then be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Now I'm gonna show you how to create the cover for this type of book. You wanna know how long your coloring book is, so how many pages, and then you just Google KDP cover calculator and you fill out the information about your book. I'm just gonna show you an example so the book is eight and a half by 11, 108 pages, and then you press calculate dimensions. And up here at the top for the full cover, that's what you wanna put into Canva so you can have the right template size. So I took these dimensions, I put them into Canva to create my template. Then you wanna download the template, and then you drag and drop the PNG version into Canva. And we're gonna come back to this template in a second. So here's the cover that I created. And to do this, we're going to use PhotoP. PhotoP is a free online version of Photoshop. So what you're going to do is take one of your coloring page images I just drag and drop the PNG into PhotoP. Obviously, it's all black and white because that's what your coloring book image is going to be. So we want our coloring book image to be in color. I went to Google Images and searched color palette, and you choose a color palette that you want for your cover. I chose this one. Some images have the hex code, which you will need. So you can just write these down if you would like to. Some don't have the hex code like this one. If yours does not have the hex code, then you can just save the image and drag and drop it into Canva. You can add a text box. Go over here to text color. Go to add a new color and use the Doppler and you can hover over the colors and you can get the hex code that way. So see, this is the same hex code that's on the image right here. So you can copy the hex code or you can also type in the hex code if your image has the hex codes. Go over here to PhotoP, go to this rectangle right here. I'm gonna right click and go to Paint Bucket Tool. Down here at the bottom is where you put in your hex code. Click on the colors down here at the bottom and you're going to copy and paste your hex code or type it in. And you wanna make sure that the color you're wanting is in the top left-hand corner. If these are flipped, then it's gonna show black whenever you paint. So make sure the color you're wanting is on top in the left hand corner and then you can start painting and coloring in your image again you want to use the colors from your color palette that you chose now this does take a few minutes to do but once you're done then you're going to have a beautiful colored version of your coloring page once you're done you go up here to file export and then export as a PNG and you're going to drag and drop that image into Canva. Again, it's going to be horizontal. So you want to flip it where it's vertical, add some text on there, take your cover template, turn down the transparency and make sure everything is within the margins and everything is centered. And then your last step is to download your cover as a PDF, download your coloring book interior as a PDF file, and then upload everything onto Amazon KDP. Be sure to go back to your spreadsheet so you know what you want to use for your title, subtitle, and seven backend keywords. And that's how you you can create pattern coloring books to upload to Amazon KDP. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you want to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for staying until the very end and I will see you guys in the next one.